Y'all here with me? Hey, Echo. What up, y'all? What up? Hey, let's get it popping, man. Welcome to episode three of the Cave. I believe this is episode three. Uh, so you know, started off talking about my Celtics. I thought we was gonna go to the finals. Didn't happen. Then I said the Lakers was going to sweep uh, the Heat. Didn't happen. All right, so I was wrong on that. Shout out to the Heat, man. They put up a fight. I didn't expect it. I ain't know they had it in him, though. Jimmy Buckets, though. He crazy. He was going savage mode. But you seen how tired he was after the, uh, what was the game? After that last game? It was a game five, I think. All right. Yeah, I think I think it was game five. He was he was sitting at the at the thing. He got up. He was beat. They say he played forty four minutes. I was like, all right, bro, you got a couple more of them games. You gotta go to game seven, boy. You tired now? So yeah, but they definitely put up a fight, man. Shout out to them boys. I didn't even think they was going. I didn't think they was gonna have a chance at all. But you know, and they pushed it to six or pushed it to five. Damn. So look, LeBron had game one, 25 points, 13 rebounds, nine assists. Game two, 33 points, nine rebounds, nine assists. Game three, 25 points, 10 rebounds, eight assists. Game four, 28 points, 12 rebounds, eight assists. Game five, 40 points, 13 rebounds, seven assists, and three steals. Son. Son, he went crazy the whole series, yo. LeBron went crazy the whole series, man. Shout out to the MVP. Congratulations to LeBron winning his fourth championship and his uh and his fourth finals MVP, which is epic. I think me personally, I think he's gonna be the GOAT when it's all said and done. But um, you know, a lot of people are gonna debate that. Y'all can debate in the comments if you want to, but I'm rocking with Brian Brown. <laughs> um, it's just been insane to, to to be able to witness B. It's like he's our Jordan, you know what I'm saying? Like we I didn't get the I didn't grow up watching Jordan. I didn't get to grow up watching Jordan. He's a little bit a little bit early for me, you know what I'm saying? So LeBron like filled that, you know, and some like he went crazy, you know what I'm saying? So we was blessed, we all uh at around our age, people in our thirties, thirty-three, you know what I'm saying? We kind of blessed to uh be growing up with LeBron, yo. <laughs> we hey, we got to witness greatness. Shout out to the older people though, because they got to witness both, you know what I'm saying? They got to witness <laughs> uh Jordan and LeBron. But you know, some and you know, I'll talk to a bunch of uh OGs that'll tell you, you know, uh they rocking with LeBron. And I gotta I talk to a bunch of OGs that tell you they rocking with Jordan, but at the end of the day, man, you just gotta appreciate the greatness, man. You know, I'm a Celtics fan all day. You see my Celtics gear all around. But uh even when LeBron was on the East Coast, I was still showing him, you know, as long as he wasn't playing the Celtics, man, hey, I'm rooting for you, you know. I root for greatness. Uh and he came to the West and shut it down. How about all that talk? Like, oh, it's you leave you leaving out the least. You leaving out uh Skip Bayless, y'all. How about you leaving out the least? You're gonna go play in the uh West, gonna be a different beast. Man, damn near swept the whole Western <laughs> down there. Now I know a special different circumstances, 2020, but at the end of the day, he still did his thing. Um uh, so yeah, shout out to them, man. They got 17 championships now. They they matched the Celtics. Now we both got 17 championships. So wouldn't it be epic if uh, next year Celtics versus the Lakers? If we can get a big man to make it a competition, Celtics versus the Lakers for the 18th title, the most titles in the NBA. Period. Who gonna hold it down? At this rate, it's looking like the Lakers gonna get that jam. Yo. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, KD come back is gonna be a whole different season. Um, I'm not only going to be talking about sports in the cave, but right now that's what's on my mind. That's what I wanted to get out. And I did want to come back and uh, apologize to the Heat fans because I did say that y'all was ass and y'all was going to get swept. But I was just emotional because y'all had just beat us. And I guess I didn't see how good Jimmy Buckets was. That boy, was he was turned up, man. But, um, yeah, good game, good series. Um, what else I want to talk about? Oh, nothing I want to talk about on this uh at the end of this, Jimmy, because this is this is just about done. Um, pay it forward, man. Pay it forward. 
I told y'all about how um, dude cut me off in the Chick Fil A line, and then he paid for my food. And then, uh, but I had already paid, so the dude was like, "Here, I just give you the money out of my wallet." And he was like, "You know, whatever, just pay it forward." And that's weird because, like I said, I did that video on my channel where I was at the gas station. I dropped uh, it was like twenty bucks. It was twenty. I don't know. Maybe it was twenty ten bucks. Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> but I gave it to him. I was like, "Give it to the next person that pulls up on this pump or whatever." And if they ask, just tell them pay it forward. So I did that, and then like almost like not too not too short after that, it just came back to me like double. You know what I'm saying? That chick for little about 40 bucks. So, <laughs> hey, so pay it forward, man. That's, you never, the karma is real. Good karma is real, uh, as well as bad karma. So, you know, if you get the opportunity, you got a couple of extra bucks. If you put it on somebody's gas tank or, you know, buy somebody's food that's behind you in line and then um, just tell them to pay it forward, you know, or, or don't let them see you do it, but just, you know, just got to do it and, and tussie slide up out of there and then put that good karma out into the universe. Um, I think that's a real dope thing to do, and uh, I'm gonna do more of it, man. Whenever I, whenever I am able to, I'm definitely gonna be paying it forward. And I hope all you guys take that as a new trend and uh, start doing that shit more often, cause uh, it's it's dope, man. It's a dope feeling when somebody do some nice shit for you out of, out the blue. All right, but that's it for this episode of the Cave. I appreciate y'all coming through, hanging out. The streams has been epic. Uh, my schedule, just an update, is 3 p.m on uh during the weekdays gta and then 10 p.m is going to be fort and easy but i'll be alternating fort and easy and like red dead or something else i might i might play at night but it's always going to be mainly gta and fort and easy follow me on twitch if y'all not if y'all don't got me on twitch already subscribe to the channel if you're new big love to the squad man and i'll see you guys at 3 p.m tomorrow we out of here you hit me yeet where you want one? Where you want to act like that? Where you play hard? No rush, go on, move dumb. Back and forth, push and shove. Make your peace and love turn to peace and gloves. Now you got a deal run up. Peace and love turn to peace and gloves. Now you got a deal run up.